Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, football world? Listen, um, guys, this is um my preview for um week um we on six, right? Week six. So um, there's some very interesting matchups. Not as good as last week. Last week was was fire. I mean, you had some great, great matchups. You have a few, but not the volume like you had last week. But let's get into this. So, um. Buccaneers and the Eagles. So, I do think the Eagles Eagles going to be a tough out, um, and they have the potential to win this game. I'm not going. I'm not going to front on that. Um, the Buccaneers can be had. Okay. Um, I just don't think the Eagles have enough. Uh, I'm going with the Bucks here, but in a very competitive game. It's not going to be a blowout like some people might predict. I think the Eagles going to hold it on. Okay. Um, and the reason why I say that is because the Buccaneers haven't been getting after the quarterback the way, um, at least that's what I that's what I sense, right? Um, I don't know what the numbers say, so the numbers might contradict what I'm saying. But that defense hasn't been as aggressive as uh, it had, as it was last year, and I think Hertz can make good decisions to run the ball, and uh, he can, uh, you know pass run combination he can get he can move that pocket and uh, he can get get down the field with his legs and I think that might be the difference to keep this defense on on their heels um so yeah I'm not going to call an upset here but I, I I do feel it's going to be a competitive games buck a competitive game bucks with the win uh this <laughs> I want to just move on from this game <laughs> Um, the Dolphins and the Jaguars. Um, the Dolphins is a better team, but they haven't been playing well. Um, the Jaguars have shown some fight in some games. Mm, let's just go with the Dolphins, man. I, uh, I really don't have a lot of people on the game, to be totally honest with you. Um, the Colts and the Titans. The Titans have made games interesting, right? The Colts have made games interesting <laughs> in the opposite direction. They have not played well. They have they have played down or up to their competition. If they're playing a good team, they play well and make it competitive. When they play bad teams, they play down and make it competitive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm not sure how to call this, right? I want to say the Colts because on paper they're a better team but what coach team what coats what coats team are we going to see <laughs> okay so i'm not sure um i'm gonna go with the coats because they're a better team but who's gonna show up <laughs> so um the chiefs and the washington football team um i think this is a get right game for the chiefs right uh that's what that's what i call these type of games right a get right game right um, so I, I just don't see the Chiefs having a much much of an issue with uh, Washington. The only issue is that um, for some reason um, the Washington football team pass rush hasn't really been uh, as advertised, right? We thought they were going to be dominant before the, the season started, and they haven't been. Will that switch turn? Because if they if they can put pressure on Mahomes. Um, you never know. You never know how that might how that might really affect them. I don't anticipate that happening because they just haven't shown it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with um, the Chiefs uh, in a get right game. Okay. <laughs> um, the Rams and the Giants. Listen, um, the Giants have some issues, right? Uh, I don't think they have the talent to even to to be competitive in this game. To be honest with you, I know some people. You know, think that they are Super Bowl caliber chief and jungle. But anyway, um, I just don't see they having the talent to compete with this team. The only chance they have is if the Rams overlook them. Okay, that would be the only chance that they really have. And you know, teams do that from time to time. They look at a team and they feel like all they have to do is show up. You know, so if the Rams overlook them. Um, you know, it might be a chance for this game to be competitive, but I don't anticipate that. 
the biggest issue the Rams, I mean, the biggest issue the Giants have is that they are not good against the pass. And the Rams are great <laughs> passing team, okay? They like to throw the ball down the field. Um, I know many Giant fans have had nightmares with um, Deshaun Jackson. They have had n many, many nightmares. And here come your nightmare again. <laughs> and this guy is really getting into a groove now. He's really, you know, they're really showcasing this guy now, right? Uh, they're not like some other teams that don't want to showcase their their um, their weapons. The Rams will. <laughs> they will call that play and show, and, and they'll go to it multiple times in the game. So, Giant fans, your nightmare has returned. <laughs> That's why I feel like this game is is not going to be very competitive. Um, the Rams and I don't like I said the only way I see this game being competitive if the Rams overlook them. I don't anticipate that, so I look for the Rams to kind of put it on the Giants. Okay, um, the Bengals and the Lions. Um, the record says you want to just pick the Bengals without even a thought, right? But this is one of those games where a team on the rise could really feel themselves and overlook a team like the Lions. The Lions, if you haven't been paying attention, they haven't won a game. But I don't think they've been blown out. They may have been blown out in one game. I'm not, I can't, I have to go back and look at it. But they have made these games competitive, right? So um, this is one of those trap games. I call it a trap game. Bengals are on the rise. They're doing well. They they are they're feeling themselves. You know what I'm saying? They had a, a, a disappointed loss last week against you know a team that they were really looking forward to upsetting, right? And um, this might be one of those games where they overlook their opponent. We'll see. I feel the Bengals will be good, right? But um, this is going to be a competitive game, and um, I'm going to pick the Bengals. But they better come up. They better, they better show up, okay? They better show up because the Lions could surprise them. Um, the Packers and the Bears. <clears throat> I think the Packers are due for um, really putting a good game together. Um, the Bears, I think, feeling really good about their win last week. And uh, I'm not going to say they're just going to sit back and, you know, just ride on that on that just ride that win for a few weeks but um that's kind of what i'm saying <laughs> um I, I i don't really see i don't really don't see the packers losing this game um i think the bears um they just don't have enough i just don't think they have enough um i think um they did well last week because i don't think the raiders they had a good game plan they didn't. Um, they didn't really test that defense, that secondary. That secondary could be had, um, and and the Raiders just didn't push him last week. Um, Aaron Rodgers will push him, right? They will push him. You know, they will test him. So I think that's going to be the difference in the game. Uh, I, I don't think they'll be able to stop the pass. So I, I do see um, the Packers uh, winning this game. Um, and it's going to be at home, too. Uh, it's going to be in, in Chicago. So, yeah, I don't think that makes a difference. I still go with the Packers here. Uh, one of the games of the week, man. These, This is one of those games right here that I truly, truly look forward to. Okay? I, I really wish it was on primetime. Sunday night, Monday game. I really wish this was one of those primetime games. The Chargers and the Ravens, right? This has the potential of being the game of the week, in my opinion. Okay, um, I think the Ravens is going to take this game, and the reason why this is this is my biggest issue, or, or the biggest differences in this in this game, and that is you guessed it, you know, Jackson. I just think that he is going to be the difference in this game. He's he, you know, people always talk about his legs. And, and, but he's throwing the ball so well right now, right? And I think that's going to keep this Chargers defense on their heels, okay? 
Um, and if and here's the key: if the Ravens could eliminate turnovers, that's going to be the key. Interceptions, fumbles, that's going to be the key. Okay, if the Ravens can eliminate turnovers, I think this Chargers defense can be had. I really do. Okay, because um, Lamar is a dynamic player. And I think he can keep this defense on their heels. They have a great, um, Chargers have a great pass rush, right? But if they get pressure, he's elusive. If they sit back and play um, coverage, right, he can pick them apart. So he's going to be the key. I think that's going to be the difference. The Ravens defense Sure, they can be had also, but I think they are they are probably they are playing very well. Okay. And I think as good as Herbert is, um, I think he relies on finding um I think weaknesses in your secondary. Uh mainly in you know his big wide receivers, right? Well, I think the Ravens can match him. I think the Ravens have the defense to to negate those big wide receivers. So the Chargers have been playing well. They're one of the teams I think are really on the uprise and playing very well, but they can be had. And I think this is the team that can get them. So um, I'm going with the Ravens, but this is going to be an exciting game. I, this, is, this is probably one of my games of the week, for real, for real, okay? Um, one game that is not gonna be <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. This, this, that was just I, I had to, it was just low hanging fruit, man. I had to do it. Anyway, this is gonna be a decent game for the fans of these teams, but it's not. I, I'm not really interested in it. But the Vikings and the Panthers, um, if you had both their running backs, because both their starting running backs are probably not starting or not playing in this game, I think that would make this game more exciting. Right, um, I'm going to go with the Vikings here because I don't think the Panthers. Although the Panthers have a great defense, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the Panthers are horrible on defense, but I think one of their weaknesses is that they could be had in the passing game. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings. I think the Vikings do for really putting a good game together because they've been struggling. They, they've gotten a couple of wins, but they haven't really put a real, real good game together yet, in my opinion. And this might be that spot. So I'm going with the Vikings here, uh, even though they're on the road. Um, mm, I don't know. That Cardinal defense, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. I think the Vikings is due for putting a really, really good game together. And with McCaffrey not being there, I think, uh, although, Her uh, what was his name? I think it's Herbert, not Herbert, uh, Hubbard, something like that. I forgot the backup for Carolina. He's been a, 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 a significant, or sufficient, I should say, sufficient backup. But I don't think he's going to be enough. So, um, yeah, I'm going to Vikings here. Now, one of the other good games of the week, right? Uh, this one, if I if I thought, um, who was that? The uh, ch uh, Chargers and the Ravens should be on Monday night or Sunday night. The other game that should be on Monday night or Sunday night, <laughs> opposite, right? Should have been the um, the uh, Browns and the uh, Arizona Cardinals. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, right? Now. I want to say it. I want to say it. I think the Browns going to win this game. I do. I think the Browns are going to win this game. <laughs> Although I don't want the Browns to win this game. I really, look, I think Kyler Murphy is an exciting, and I think he's really putting, he's, he's, he's matching his potential. He's putting it all together, right? And I, and I would love to see... I, I, he's going to shine. I, I think he's really going to shine in this game, right? I think this is going to be a, somewhat of a shootout, right? And I think both of them have good defenses, but their offenses um, 
And here, this is what I think. This is this is why I'm gonna pick the Browns, okay? And it's not because the quarterback play, right? For the Browns, I think the card in uh, Arizona is gonna have a problem stopping the Browns' running game. That's what I think the difference is gonna be, okay? That's what I truly think the difference is gonna be, right? Um, I think it's gonna be a high-scoring game, right? Um, I'm looking both teams to get in the 30s, right? And it's going to be a last drive, um, late fourth quarter stop that's going to make the difference. And the Browns have the defense to make that crucial sack, to make that crucial pick. Something is going to happen on that on the Browns' defense that's going to secure that win for them. I think they're going to move the ball on the ground. I think that the these the, their two running backs are going to feast. I think in this game, right? That's what I see. The difference is the Browns on the ground. Okay. I really want. I'm I'm saying that, but I'm really pulling for Arizona. <laughs> I'm not an Arizona fan, but my no stretch of the imagination, right? I just think they're exciting storyline, and I think they're exciting team, right? Um, so. I'm going to stick with my pick. I'm going to stick with my analysis. The ground game is going to be the difference. But this is a must-watch a must watch game. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be an exciting game. That's what I anticipate. So, um, Browns running game, that's going to be the, that's going to be the difference in my opinion. Okay. Um, so, the Cowboys and the New England Patriots. This is another one of them trap games, and I'm gonna explain why. The Cowboys are on a high right now, right? They are really feeling themselves, and with good reason, right? You gotta look at Prescott. He's probably on the list for the MVP, not comeback player of the year. On the MVP, I mean, he is really playing well, right? He's utilizing his weapons. You don't know where he's gonna go with the ball. He's not locked in on one guy right and he's playing very very well so they are really feeling themselves right but after a, 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 a nice win against their rival which meant a lot to them right they're going on the road um it's a, it's a late game it's a four four o'clock game so it's going to be featured right um this is one of them trap games man now i'm going to pick the cowboys because I think the Cowboys are just a much better team, okay? I'm going to pick the Cowboys, but this is one of them trap games, right? I really feel like this this could be a trap game, right? Because New England has so many reasons why they shouldn't win this game. and, and But they are a good team. They are well coached, right? And they are a good team. That's the recipe for a trap. <laughs> That's the recipe for a trap. So, I'm going with the Cowboys because they are a better team. They're playing better right now. They're on a roll. Be careful with your money, though. Be careful with them coins, <laughs> okay? <laughs> don't just throw it on the line. And, don't, and uh, This is no-brainer. Be careful. It could be a trap, <laughs> okay? Um, I, I'm going to really dive deep into this. Uh, I'm going to drop, drop a video tomorrow. Um, uh, it might be Saturday. I don't know how my schedule is going to be, but um, the, uh, the Broncos and the uh, the Raiders. Um, I have a lot to talk about on that game. Um, I'll just I'll leave that for my next video. Okay, um, we'll just leave that for the next video. Seahawks and the um, Steelers. The only reason why this is going to be an interesting game is because um, we're not sure how Geno is going to play when he's called upon to be the starter okay i think he's capable but the steelers uh has shown that they have fight right they're not done but put it like this if russell wilson was in this game i would be picking the seahawks with no hesitation okay the question mark is how is Gino going to respond? Coming off, not coming off the bench because he's a starter. He's getting all the reps and he's capable. Okay, but how is that going to translate 
into them being effective on offense, okay? They can stop the Steelers on defense. The Steelers, they play well in spurts, but um, this is one of this is like a toss-up game for me because there's a huge question mark with how well Geno is going to be effective um, in this game. I'm going to go with the Seahawks, but I'm not sure. I'm not very confident. Not confident at all. But I'm going to go with the Seahawks, okay? Um, Monday night, uh, interesting game. Uh, I think the Bills, um, you know, this is one of the other games that can be a trap game, right? Because the Bills, I think, have, is, is a much better team. But um, in being a Monday night game, I can see them being prepared, being focused. But um, this is one of them trap games, I feel, also. Because the Titans, the Titans have a running game. And when you have a good running game, you could be in any game, right? If they play keep away, <laughs> right? If they just try to ground and pound and play keep away, right, and keep the, keep that Bills offense off the field, um, this could be a, a, a very competitive game, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the noise, guys. I'm trying to get unloaded, trying to get this film in before I get on the road. But um, if they could play keep away, right, and the Bills, now here's what I feel the Titans game plan has to be, right? Do not try to pass on this Bills defense. They need to really run the ball. They need to play keep away, right? One, run Henry and run him often, right? Wear this team down, shorten the game. Do not put the ball in harm's way because the Bills will get you. They will get you with that pass rush or that secondary. They will pick you off, okay? So if the Titans stay true to what they are good at and that's running this ball, and, and playing off of now they should do what I've talked about the Raiders and some other teams shouldn't do. They should use the pass to set up the run. I mean, backwards, backwards, sorry. <laughs> I can't do the Chief Rock rerun. If they do the run to set up the pass, right, and chew up the clock, shorten this game, keep the Bills off the field, they have a shot. Okay, that's their, that should be their strategy. So whether they do that or not, I don't know. Huh. Who should I pick here? Who should I pick here? You know what? I'm going with the Titans. I'm going with, I think the Titans are gonna do what it takes in this game. Prime time, at home, um, yeah, I'm going with the upset here. I'm going with the Titans. I think they can shorten this game. They can showcase Henry. Um, use that run to set up the pass. They, their defense isn't horrible, right? Um, they definitely have some weaknesses, but their defense isn't horrible, right? And if they could, um, I think they can do it. I think they can do it. I'm, I'm going with the Titans in the upset right here. Um, and you know the Bills is a much better team. I'm going with the upset. Titans. Titans with the upset. So, guys, look. That's my review for uh, week six. This is, hey, we're getting close, man. We're getting close to really understanding what these teams are about. That um, the, the honeymoon period is over. The overreaction uh, is over. And you're really starting to understand who is what. Okay. Um, just to throw this in, um, my Astros, I think we start tonight. No, we start Friday. I think we start Friday. Look for my Astros to put it on the uh, Red Sox. Um, I know a lot of people have something to say about my Astros, but um, you know where you can go. We are, okay, going to be in this World Series. We are, okay, going to give Dusty Baker this opportunity to get a ring, okay? That's how I feel. Go Astros. Let's get it, baby. All right, guys, y'all be blessed. Take care of each other. 
I love each other. And like I said, man, y'all be blessed, man. Ready KF is out. Peace. Have a great day.